Justin Kraft with the ESAC Boys Golf Team joining us up here as they uh, hosted Pocahontas of Palmer and Palmer. And uh, Justin, uh, a very good start for you today. I was able to catch up with your first couple of holes. I know on uh, number one, put yourself in great position for a birdie and knocked that one in. Uh, how did you feel starting today? Uh, a little nervous. Uh, they moved the tee boxes back a little bit on one, so I wasn't really sure what club to hit. Came up a little short of the dog leg, but was able to hit a nice little pitch underneath the tree and put to about six inches, so that was a good start. Did you think that you were that within six inches when you hit that one, or what did it feel like? Uh, I was just hoping it'd spin, because I thought it hit a little hard, it was a little low, but it did, it put on the brakes pretty quick, so I was happy. Come back on number two, and if I remember correctly, uh, a four, no, a five on, four on number two? I bogeyed, yeah, four. You bogeyed? Uh, just a tough tee shot, a little bit short on that one. What uh, happened there? Actually, me and my partner misjudged the wind. We definitely thought it was helping, and it was hurting. So it had 135, so I was going to hit a nice, easy pitching wedge and came up about 10 yards short and failed to get up and down. So, you know, bogeys happen. How did you feel the rest of the day? How'd things play out for you? Uh, I started to calm down a little bit, started to make some pars. I bogeyed five, but that's a tough par three in the wind. And I would have liked to get a birdie on it. Nine or eight there. Had a couple lip outs, but I'm not going to complain about a 35. How'd you feel like you drove the ball today? Uh, I only missed one fairway, so. Uh, I thought I hit a pretty solid thing, go as far as usual. I don't know if maybe miss hitting them a little, but you know, as long as I got irons into the green, I'm happy. What were you hitting for distance today? Uh, drivers probably went about 265. I had, let's see, sevens 400, and I had about 180 left, or 140 left, so that was into the wind too, so I'm not gonna complain about that. How's the mid-range game with the irons? Uh, struggled early on, uh, missed an easy green on hole four had a nine iron in my hand and pulled it real bad but I was able to get up and down and actually later in the round I started to dial them in a little bit started to flag out in a little more so struggled early on but it came on in the end. Any idea how many putts you took today? Uh, not good. I think my dad said I had five putts total up to about three feet so yeah I burnt a lot of edges and left myself tap-ins a lot but would have been nice to get a few to fall. I'd say if I had to guess 15 or 16. What was the, the strength of your game overall today, do you think? I got up and down from everywhere. I was on four, I said I pulled it. I was down the bottom of the gully and hit a heck of a shot to about an inch, almost almost hold out. And, you know, if I'd be 50 yards short of the green, I could still pitch it on and make a putt. So I was really happy with my wedges. They, they really carried me today. I know you got another meet coming up on Tuesday, but districts are right around the corner. Uh, what do you guys got to do to get ready for sectionals? Uh, I'll be honest with you. These are just practice rounds leading into Friday because that's the that's the big day. So we're going to go out there, try and make good swings, try and make some putts, and whatever happens, happens. But we're trying to prep for Friday. Well, Justin, I appreciate you joining us here today. Best of luck coming up tomorrow and Friday. All right. Thanks, Jeff.